Well, for me, I, I see this as just an, another step. Because for the last 24 years, I've been working with the people, and there's another way to work with the people. So that's why we believe that I will, I will be ready. For the actual elective politics now, from the party level, I, I am in the process of getting ready. Because to me, this is something new to me. Working and serving people, not new. Working in this capacity, new. So again, in a state of readiness for that aspect of it. As it relates to the announcement, were you shocked? Definitely. I am still shocked standing up here now. I, I totally understand it from the perspective of, yes, I believe we do need to unite. When I look at COVID worldwide, as a people, we got to come together to, to fight this. Because this is humanity versus COVID, you know. And I think we got too many segmentations, too many divisions, too many, and, and, and a lot of them are artificial. At the end of the day, there's a threat to us as a human a species and it must be the equal response. I mean, humanity needs to come together. And I believe that that is what we are trying to attempt here, putting Barbados under the fly and rallying together against one common enemy, which is COVID-19. Okay. You said you're readying yourself for the elective politics. Mm -hmm. um, there are only about, just about three weeks left mm -hmm. um, before the day. You mm -hmm. think that you will be prepared by then? For sure, I, if elective politics is about serving people, I definitely will be ready. When I talk about readying myself from the elective standpoint, I mean, you know, there's a lot for me to learn. I still have a lot to learn in terms of like things like how things are divided by the box, the, the Electoral and Boundaries Commission set up and so on. Those are things, but I do have a good team, so I believe that those things will come like second nature to me. Obviously, too, you're, you're, you're going to be filling in um, some big shoes. Yes. And what do you think your chances mm -hmm. of, of winning the seat? I think, the, my, my, I believe my chances are great. At the end of the day, I left the decision with the people. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm not only filling great shoes, but great boots coming off of Lieutenant Colonel Jeffrey Bostick. And I, I believe that he left an excellent wicket, um, not only for, for, for the constituency, but for the country. And I, I'm definitely going to be working along with that. So I do believe my chances are really good. By the end of the day, I'm humbled by the opportunity to serve the people at this level because I see this as a, a noble thing to do and I believe that, you know, once I humble myself and approach the people and let them know I'm here to serve, I believe that they will accept me. Um, again, again, again. I believe that Barbadians are very smart people. There are things that they are upset about, certain things that need to be explained to them, but at the end of the day, they do know that the Barbados Labour Party is the party to take them through, you know, the things that we have to, to navigate through over the, especially the next coming years. You see, I believe that the decisions, and they're all sport aside, the decisions I think that we need to do over the next, we need to make, and the things we need to do over the next two to three years will determine this country's future in the next 20, 30 years. Because if we don't settle down, if certain decisions are not made, I, it will not argue well for Barbados going forward. And th this has always been a concern that my generation get involved to ensure that the next generation is well served.